Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another renewal episode 3 video. I'm back with Pal World 1.5.1. Uh, you can see the version right here. So previous mod had uh, the issue crash at a startup because this mod <coughs> by default uses DLSS 3 to upscale and you know RTX users don't uh, non RTX users don't have the DLSS. So that's why they were facing the crash issue. So I have managed to fix that and also I'll show like talk about the steam users like which what you can do to activate the mod on your uh, steam account and also the other type of users will be able to use this mod. So right now I have not activated it and I'm playing on 1080p uh, high setting with uh, like everything is on high and yeah and I'm getting around uh, 60 70 70 to 70 70 to 80 plus and now we'll begin the installation of the mod yeah <coughs> let's go my cold is not yet recovered so sorry for the coughing and all first you'll need to download this zip from the link in the description extract it to the directory uh, this will be a little extra additional step just like the previous video so stick around for the full tutorial copy everything inside go to the Palo Alto installation directory after that uh, go to Paul binaries win64 and where the Paul win64 shipping is located paste everything right here after testing uh, we will need to do two things first is uh, go to the mods folder and you will see palworldupscaler.ini we need to edit it with uh, notepad so, so go to open with and select notepad and where you say m upscale type uh, you need to delete this zero and write three because three is for three is for fsr3 upscaling because uh, dlss is only for rtx card and FSR3 is like uh, universal so we set FSR3 now click on file click on save close the file now we need additional step just like previous video to run the game in directx 12 so when you come back to the uh, win64 shipping folder again uh, we need to select the file right click on it uh, click on send to and go to uh, desktop shortcut then close the folder and you will also need to run the game from these shortcuts after uh, the editing which i will show you so right click on it go to properties in the shortcut tab where the target uh, target window is here like target tab is here uh, click at the end of the text like where that exe is ending then press a space then uh, write hyphen then write dx12 <coughs> so steam users need to copy only this text like the space the hyphen and dx12 and write this target and write this uh, uh, command like your um, in your target window of your steam if you don't know how to add the command line to your steam game just do a google search uh, you will know it so after that uh, you can click on apply click on ok and you will need to run game every time from this shortcut if you want to use the mode so yeah we'll run the game and speed up the video now Uh, we're back in the game and uh, now what we need to do is uh, click on the home key from your keyboard and it will bring up this menu so you need to select the enable frame generation fsr 3 upscaling and uh, yeah and that's about it and now you need to go to option and enable the dlss from in game like i'll set it to quality hit apply come back to the game and there we can see now that ps is around 120 130 yeah mm, so yeah the mod has successfully installed and fps is boosting fully now you can play the game even more smoothly and also you can switch uh, the mod from like uh, dlss uh, fsr3 uh, whichever you want in the tweak menu i'll show you it let me kill this chicken first so if you click like uh, home button and uh, you can select the yeah which i was talking about like if you click on the home button 
and uh, come to the upscaler uh, tab uh, you can click here and you can select dlss you can select fsr3 but don't go to fsr2 that will crash but xcss is working you can also use the xcss also so yeah xcss has some issues like uh, there the light is shimmers sometime but uh, fsr3 and dlss is fully stable so yeah maybe i'll use uh, dlss because i have an rtx card so dlss is superior in every way but you can still use fsr3 also if you want so yeah this will be it uh, if this video helps you subscribe to the channel guys and i'm bringing new fsr3 videos every day and yeah uh, if you face any kind of issue comment down below i'll try to help you and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers